Many of us have heard the term of the school to prison pipeline and what that is like and how we're just funneling, you know, black and brown people into prisons. Once I got out and I, wa I found myself on this college campus, I found myself struggling a lot. And I wondered if there were other people out there like me. And there were. So then Johnny and I started meeting at CSUN. And he was formerly incarcerated. He spent time in solitary. And I told him how I felt like I didn't belong in this campus. How I would sit in the parking lot and cry because I felt like this, this wasn't for me. I couldn't do this, that this was hard. And he's like, are you kidding me? You did almost three years in solitary confinement and you're gonna cry about a damn literature review? You better check yourself. I was afraid of anyone finding out that I was formerly incarcerated. I was afraid of what people would think. I was afraid of the stigma. I was just kind of coming to terms with this identity that I had and kind of trying to navigate everything. And you know, trying to navigate that, trying to navigate, trying to survive with two kids and school and just all this stuff, I felt really overwhelmed. Now we're to the point where we have co-founded, um, Johnny and I, um, this organization called Revolutionary Scholars at CSUN in support of anyone directly or indirectly affected by mass incarceration. We're trying to change that school to prison pipeline and create a prison to college pipeline because we all know education you know, reduces recidivism rates. And if we don't do it for ourselves, clearly no one else is gonna do it for us.